Douglas County deputies say this man kicked in the door to a home in search of his ex-girlfriend, assaulting her before throwing an explosive device at her car. Investigators say Nicholas Thomas has a lengthy criminal history, and as KETV Newswatch 7's Sarah Feely reports, a new unit in the sheriff's office helped arrest him quickly. Sarah? In less than 12 hours, Douglas County deputies had Thomas in custody. They say they take domestic violence calls seriously, and this one was no different. A neighbor in the area reporting they heard a single shot fired. An explosion loud enough to alert neighbors led to a 911 call around 6 o'clock Wednesday morning. Deputies went to a home near NP Dodge Park finding a woman who says a man barged inside. An ex-boyfriend, later identified as Nicholas Thomas, arrived at the residence, forcibly kicked in the front door, located her inside the residence, struck her one time on the side of the face. Deputies say after slapping her, Nicholas Thomas stormed out of the house and detonated an explosive device on her parked car. They saw what appeared to be him lighting something inside the vehicle and then he threw something at her car, which was parked on the driveway. Then they heard an explosion. Photos show the damage, a shattered back window and mangled metal. The Omaha bomb squad telling deputies it's likely an illegal homemade explosive, similar to an M80. If it's set on a vehicle and it's detonated, it's very common for it to punch through metal of the vehicle. Deputies say it could be powerful enough to hurt or kill someone if they're close enough. Thankfully, that wasn't the case Wednesday. The device itself can be very destructive, very dangerous, as you can see by the damage on the vehicle. Within hours, a group of plainclothes detectives, part of a new special operations unit, had set up surveillance on Thomas based on his ex-girlfriend's description and some known addresses. All of those plainclothes detectives are assigned also part-time to the SWAT team and they essentially are uh, a unit that we utilize for violence prevention. Deputies say just 10 hours after breaking down that door, Thomas was in custody. Now facing a felony use of an explosive device to damage property charge and other misdemeanors. Domestic violence, as we've seen nationwide, uh, can be deadly. It's not a joke. It's very scary. The sheriff's office says Thomas has a lengthy criminal history, including narcotics charges, extensive driving history issues like DUIs and flight to avoid arrest. In this case, he does face a domestic violence assault charge, too. Conicia, back to you. All right, Sarah, thank you.